Some of the biggest comedy stars Canada has ever produced gathered together at a Second City reunion last night, and TK was there and caught up with them on the red carpet. What a spectacular event. I mean, all of Canada's comedy giants are in one building on yeah. one night. It's like a reunion, a high school reunion. Well, it isn't <laughs> so much as you'd think because we do all hang out a lot. That may be so, but we don't get to see all of them together very often, which made the takeoff, a eh? Bob and Doug McKenzie live reunion a rare treat. The All-Star Benefit saw SCTV alums Dave Thomas and Rick Moranis go back into caricature as the famous fictional Canadian brothers from the Great White North. Oh, takeoff, eh? And the reason for the reunion was a good one. It was to benefit spinal cord injury research for the sake of Thomas's nephew, who was left paralyzed from the waist down after a snowmobiling accident. Remarkably special on a very personal level, a professional level, because I get to work with all these people who have been my friends for years and that I started out with here at this theater. So what is that moment going to feel like when you're all on stage together? Well, I don't know. I mean, it's a combination of being tremendously choked up and at the same time happy, you know? So what is it about the great Canadian comics that have such big hearts and you guys always rally together when, when you need to? Oh, it's probably more the Canadian part than the uh, yeah. comic part, I yeah. would say. We're all part of a community and a family and, uh, and we all share a lot of history together. Someone who doesn't necessarily share the same history but does share star status also dropped by. Michael Douglas. Hi. Hi. It's such a special night. Special night for sure. Um, what are you looking forward to the most about tonight? Well, I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to the laughing, I'm sure. You know, I heard I did a picture with Eugene Levy years ago, and that was my first taste about who they all were. And um, it's, it was a, a magical time. You look at the talent that's come out of that group. Uh, it's, it's really quite extraordinary. Would you say that laughter really is the best medicine? It absolutely is, without a, without a doubt. Laughter will get you through life, folks. Don't forget that. Taking a sharp turn now from laughter to moody and melancholy. You do what you can to make sure you're still around after you're gone. The new movie, A Ghost Story, is not your typical ghost story. Instead, it's a meditation on love, loss, and longing. The supernatural drama follows a young couple, played by Casey Affleck and Rooney Mara. When Affleck's character is killed in a car accident, he returns as a ghost, haunting his old house, unable to let go of the home and life he loved. TK caught up with the film's writer and director, David Lowry. I felt the ghost's emotion. It does. It's, you know, it, even it though really, he was expressionless. It's so simple that it really becomes an emotional sponge. Yeah. In a way, or a canvas in which you can just project so much because there's so little technically going on there that it allows the emotions to really come to the surface. That really is Casey Affleck under the sheet, by the way. A ghost story hit select theaters this Friday before opening across the country throughout the summer. And coming up tomorrow, we're chatting with Adam Lambert about Queen, new music, and getting back to the basics.